Morning Internet. Today it's a Saturday here in Kuala Lumpur and we're going to take a walk through the Brickfields area of town just to see what's there. Brickfields is also known as uh, Little India and I've been there once before but I never really had a good look around so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we're at the site of one of my unplanned adventures here in Kuala Lumpur. One evening I was doing a hotel pickup for one of our staffers and I got onto this street which for some reason has reverse traffic flow. So instead of usually moving traffic moving on the left, on this particular street traffic moves on the right. Some of you may be wondering how Brickfields got its name. Well, I hope you are anyway because I did some research on this. Lots of people think it's because many of the streets and sidewalks are lined with bricks. But that's not really it, although it's probably part of the reason. And I'll admit it's the reason I thought Brickfields was called Brickfields. But as it turns out, a long time ago there was a flood here. This is a major commerce part of the old Kuala Lumpur and there was a flood that wiped out a lot of the wooden and thatched businesses and the district supervisor or whatever the title was back then he ordered that all rebuilt buildings and all new buildings be constructed from brick so you ended up with a lot of buildings in Kuala Lumpur made out of brick where a lot of the other older buildings were made out of wood so this is how brickfields came to be known as brickfields this guy is demonstrating one of the famous drinks here in malaysia called tea tarik which means pulled tea and what it is is they take tea with milk and sugar already in it and just pour it from one container to the next and what you end up is a sweet tasting very foamy cup of tea it's delicious Thank <laughs> you. 
People from India or Indian descent live or work in the Brickfields area. You can get a lot of spices, clothing, different kinds of cloth, and a lot of Indian restaurants are located in Brickfields. Unfortunately, I haven't spent a whole lot of time down here. Even though I like Indian food, I have to admit that when I go into an Indian restaurant, I have no idea at all what each of the items are. So if I'm going to go to an Indian restaurant, I have to go with somebody that actually knows what the food is. So anybody watching that knows anything about Indian food, let me know. All right, I'm about to get on the monorail. So we're going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Do I remember where to change? The <laughs> what? <laughs> the <laughs> the what? What? The home button, I see that. No. Change what? Accessibility. Oh, accessibility.